do indeed. So we don't have Shadow and Cub, but we've got the little prince himself, Hosanna. So that completes our cat trifecta for the afternoon, which is quite spectacular, really. So it's amazing to think that we actually have currently at the moment four leopards on Juma. So we've got Shadow and her cub somewhere where we haven't been able to find her. And then James had little Shongile. And now we've got Hosano who's taking it very easy as you can see. He's found himself a log to sleep on and is resting at Treehouse Dam now. I was at the Hyena Den and we left because Hosano was found and we thought we'll just come have a look at Hosano. We might head back to the Hyena Den a little bit later. Everybody was very sleepy at the Hyena Den so we thought we'll come back, come to here and then maybe go back to the den a little bit later and see if Ribbon is back with her little cubs and if they're out and about and if we can maybe get even some audio like Byron had the other day. So that's the plan for that. But he's still very curious. He's kind of sitting on his log, watching around what's going on. And I wonder where he came from, because this morning I drove past Treehouse Dam and there was no sign of a leopard anywhere in this area at that stage. And there was not even any trucks around here. And I don't think anybody even found trucks. We just managed to bump into him on the northern side of the dam. And he loves to lie in that area. It's one of his favorite places. I've seen him lying on that stump before. So he's a happy cat when he's here. And it's a good place to be in. There's lots of terrapins here. There's also a lot of animals that come to drink here. So there's a lot of impalas, a lot of water buck that come. And while a water buck's probably a bit big for him now, it's still good practice to stalk and chase and to try and get into it. Now we're going to do our last welcome back for our TV ads. So I do apologize if it sounds like I am welcoming you all to the show again. Um, but we are just doing our last practice round for today. So it should be fairly simple. Now as you can see, it's still quite a gloomy afternoon, though. It's not exactly very, very pretty out here this afternoon. It's not like the sunrise we had this morning where it was pink and really, really nice. It's still very gloomy, and so I'd imagine it's going to be perfect conditions for the leopards to be hunting. So I would think that's why Hosanna is having a little nap at the moment. He's just waiting to save his energy for when it gets dark, and he can then start going and potentially trying to hunt, which will be good if we can stick with him so we'll see how it goes and see what he gets up to now i'm going to hold off speaking just for a little bit so that we can do our welcome back and then we'll be back into the normal swing of things welcome back everybody to a dark dingy south africa we are coming to you live from the Greater Kruger National Park. My name is Tristan, and we have just managed to find a leopard, which is really great news. So we've completed our trifecta. So Taylor had lions earlier, James had his leopard earlier, and now we've managed to find Hosanna. So Hosanna is the little Prince of Juma, for those of you who don't know. And if you want to know who exactly the Prince of Juma is, remember you can use hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. And there we go. That's our welcome back from the TV ad. Now let's get back to Hosanna because he's far prettier than my face. And let's have a look at what he's up to. He's still having a little nap at this stage. But I'm sure he will wake up just now. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's going to sort of start stirring from his slumber as it's getting darker now. And hopefully he's going to move around and try and sort of catch something and we'll be able to then follow him. I'm sure Senzo is dying to use his IR lights and follow a leopard with his IR so hopefully little Hosanna will be a bit more active than he is currently now. But he seems like he's got a little belly on him since we saw him. Um, we saw him yesterday morning, and he seems like he's got a little fat tummy. Ah, Cheryl, you say that Senzo is doing a marvelous job, and he's excellent. Well done, Senzo. There you go. Pat on the back, Senzo. You can give yourself one. And indeed, he has done a very good job today. He's been on point and very quick with his movement so it's good to see it it's amazing to see the development of the cameramen as they sort of spend time on the cameras and how they grow and and we really are so fortunate that we have the guys that we do they're all very very passionate and all so eager to give the best possible shots possible for all of you at home so well done Senzo Like I was saying, little Hosanna's belly is quite full, so I wonder if he managed to get something yesterday. Maybe he found himself some terrapins or potentially those white-faced whistling ducks. I know the white-faced whistling ducks were going towards Chelapan, and maybe he managed to catch one of the little ones because we had, saw them, I think today, they were seen up at Gari Dam. So I wonder if they haven't moved because of him. 
and there obviously is a lot of terrapins around. There's also a lot of dike and steenbok. But if it was one of those, we would have probably found him on that carcass. He's not that full. So whatever he was eating was something quite small. But you can see it's quite rounded there. So he's definitely had something to eat in the last 24 hours or so. But that is one relaxed cat. So from sleeping hyenas to sleeping leopard. They're all in that Sunday afternoon, very, very, very relaxed mode. Now, talking about our ducks, I believe James is frolicking about with them. Hopefully he's not in the water like they are, and we'll see which ducks he's got.